Hey gang, JB Coins here with another Sunday live stream. Uh, this is our new time. Um, we did a couple polls, as most, as some of you guys know, uh, between noon, four, and two, and uh, ultimately we decided to go with the two o'clock because we figured it was fairer to both West Coast and East Coast. It was basically two hours earlier for the East Coast folks, and then the four o'clock, and two hours later than the noon and vice versa for the West Coast and the, mid, the Midwest kind of catches it right right in the middle. So um, don't see anybody here yet. There we go. Uh, Logan, how are you doing, Logan? Welcome. Um, Nathaniel, nope, you didn't get here first, Nathaniel. You got, you got aced out by uh, Logan, so you're second. Uh, Primus. Can't quite make it out. Here. Oh, thank you. Heraldus Catratus. Wow. Logan. Matthew Penn. Adam Bokeh. Roger Roger 2187. Very cool. Uh, portrait coins. Okay, so bodies are starting to show up. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna, for now, we're gonna go with the two o'clock because it seems like it's fairest to everybody. East Coast and West Coast both have to move two hours. Midwest basically winds up uh, catching a break. Um, overseas folks, I think, are gonna be affected uh, probably in a positive way. Uh, the Hawaiian people can sleep in an extra two hours. <laughs> Uh, hello, good luck everyone. Smash that like button. There you go, Nathaniel. Uh, I'm watching this through my stream. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Enrique, hey y'all. Um, okay, first thing. We made a typo um, and we changed it in the title today and in, in the intro title. Uh, the coin that we have for the drawing today is not a 2017 Silver Eagle. It is one of the last of our 30th anniversary 2016 Silver Eagles. Uh, so, um, you know, it's got the reeded edge and brand new BU, uh, but it's the 30th anniversary 2016, not the 2017. Um, and uh, we'll, re we'll repeat that a couple times, obviously, through the course of this. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, Rogue's here, Wanda's here, Bill's here. Um, and, uh, you know, um, let's see, uh, you guys, all you guys are pretty much veterans, so you all know the program as far as, you know, uh, entries for the drawing and, uh, PayPal or Super Chat, PayPal, gift or send money to family and friends, and then it is, um, it is, uh, each five dollars is an entry. So, um, so um, like I said, today it's going to be the 2016 30th anniversary um, Silver Eagle, uh, and then we're going to go through some nickels if we find anything cool in there uh, while we're doing that and answering questions. Um, you know, we'll go from there. The hour usually goes by pretty quick. Um, in fact, we're almost five minutes into it already, which is just mind-boggling sometimes. Hi, Dicky. Hi, Carl. Welcome. Uh, Dutch Hollander, welcome. Uh, if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and whack-a-mole, which uh, you'll see the phrase lots of times today, uh, which means hit the like button. and. Uh, we try to get 100 likes every time we do a live stream, and that kind of depends on how many folks we have show up because each person can only do a like one time. If you do it twice, you actually cancel your like out. Um, been a week of some significant fines, uh, not the least of which um, Cheapskate uh, uh, emailed us uh, that he and his wife had found the 79 dime error uh, which we put the video up this morning um, with a very nice DDR on it. 
Logan's Coins and Cards. Speaking of which, I found a 2017P with small, tiny die chips. There you go. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, there's there should be die chips on the shield. Um, and, um, gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now. But uh, they're normally on the left-hand side of the shield. I know that. Uh, that's That's been fairly consistent, actually, for the last five years or so on the pennies um, Arizona Outdoor Survivor love your channel thank you thank you very much um, hit that like button until it turns blue Bill says uh, evil hunter I have one of them too Adam uh, IA coins low uh, Manta coins hey Nathaniel uh, hey Mrs. B <laughs> JB Coin, I just bought a 79 proof set. Is there errors in it? Uh, you know what? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, I know we have them on the lists. I'm pretty sure there's, well, there might be something in the quarters. I can't remember. I just got through doing a box of quarters. I can't remember if there was something that was proof only because there wasn't anything in P&D. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody here will, will chime in. Um, let's see. Mantic Coins, I think Cheryl is over on your other stream. We only have the one stream going, so, uh, so it could be over on somebody else's stream. Let's see. This looks like an older one. Mantic coins. Maybe you restarted. Um, not that I know of. Um, you know, we're streaming from the phone uh, to avoid the internet streaming issues. Uh, Evil. I picked up an 1818s Morgan from my coin club. That's cool. That's a very. That's a very nice old coin. Um, okay, here's a, here's a 41. It's not a it's not a war nickel and it's not silver, but we'll put that out there for now. Figure out what to do with it. Oh, 1881 S. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that would be that would be more uh, in that date run. Yeah. 1818 is pretty old. <laughs> First coins were like 1794, so 1880, 1818 would be way back there. Let's see. But either way, it's still old, man. <laughs> Going through the nickels. Yeah, we found some, we made some discoveries going through some quarter boxes and some other things that we posted on our recent videos as well. And um, let's see, we got a couple of bison nickels here. Let's see what we got, if anything. No speared bison, no fifth leg bison. No three-legged bison, no doubled spine. Let's try the other one. Hey, Kyle. Welcome. Uh, need to buy silver. Where's the cheapest place? Oh, man, that changes regularly. Um, we buy most of our silver from Atmex. Um, we buy... Um, unusual or custom silver, if you will, uh, from folks like um, Mint, Grove Minting. Um, he has, you know, he has actual coins that, coin images that he's recreated, uh, and he has several that are on silver uh, at fairly reasonable prices, but they're, you know, um, if you're talking about one ounce bullion or five ounce bullion, um, we pretty much stick with Atmex because from there we can get to uh, the Royal Mint. We can get to um, uh, 
Um, God, I'm just sorry, guys. It's just one of those days. Um, yeah, we can we can get to all the different mints. We can get to the um, uh, Queen's Beasts. We can get to all different things, uh, and we've never had an issue with them. Um, so uh, I know there's other coin other coin bullion companies out there. Uh, I would stick away from the ones. Uh, in my opinion, I would stick stay away from the ones you hear about on the radio a lot. Um, you know. We're going to send you this free guide, that kind of thing. Um, my understanding is a lot of those charge really high uh, premium fees um, and don't necessarily have the same selection. So there's a couple of companies that compete with Atmex, but I haven't done business with them, so I can't speak to them. Uh, Kyle, thanks for the video. 1,200 views and keep growing. There you go. Uh, on your Indian head penny. Yeah, Kyle made a awesome find uh, that was another one of our finds this past week um, that thing is bizarre <laughs> it's it's really cool but it's bizarre uh, JNB I have a question for you too or anyone who else may know uh, don't see the question um, Diane Parker I'm new here real novice I found you for the super educational thanks for that Thank you. Well, you're very welcome, and thank you for joining us and watching us. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Anybody that's watching today that's not a subscriber, even if you're a regular, please subscribe. Uh, the, the subscriptions are starting to add back up again, and uh, and with uh, the demonetization monster still out there, we got demonetized again today. On another video and I think yesterday uh, we did as well um, so it's it's really making it hard um, when does the mint release the new 2018 circulated coins um, there is a schedule yeah, to answer your question there is a schedule on usmint.gov uh, and uh, pardon me sweetie yeah there's a link to it uh, why be HB Ten dollars. Let me win one of those darn things. <laughs> those darn it. Praying. God bless. Thanks for the pennies, dime, and quarter from your last one. You're welcome, and thank you. Um, uh, to, an to finish answering that other question, uh, we have a link on our website, jbcoins.com, uh, to get to the U.S. Mint, so that you don't wind up at the wrong website. Which there's one that's very similar, and it's not the US Mint. It's not something you want to click on. Um, but uh, they have the schedule. They've released as of the 4th of this month, I believe it was, either the 4th or the 8th, uh, they released the 2018 Silver Eagles. They're starting to release some of the other coins. Uh, so it depends on which coins you're looking for, but they do have the release schedule up. Um, you have to pick 2018 and then you can scroll down. Uh, Jam Bullion, I saw that scroll by. Uh, Rogue, thanks for the package. You're very welcome. Um, and while everybody's saying hi to everybody, I'm going to take a sip. Uh, went through, thank you. Went through one roll. Um, Jake Matula got the V nickel. Thank you. Hope you're all here having a great day. Glad you got it. Hope you liked it. Um, welcome. Welcome back. Um, we have Portrait Coins, $10 from PayPal. Thank you. You have two entries. Uh, and for those of you that got here after the last update, uh, we made a, a, an error in the title of the date of the Silver Eagle. This is not a 2017. This is a 30th anniversary 2016. Um, it's the bullion, so it's the reeded edge, not the incused edge, but it's still a 30th anniversary Silver Eagle, not a 2017. So, and we found a 41 nickel. We'll figure out what we're going to do with that in a bit. Um, there you go, Bill put up the, the link there. Uh, smash that like button, D Coin Hunter says. <laughs> yep. See, everybody's getting in the habit now. We like that. Um, so yeah, like I, like I said at the beginning of the video, for those of you that weren't here, um, 
there's it's kind of been a week of discoveries between uh, uh, between the uh, Indian head penny error and now the 79 dime error, dime error and then a couple things that we found uh, coin roll hunting and a couple things we found at the auction that were that were pretty interesting uh, it's been a pretty cool week um, I, a, I got a 28 or excuse me 1828 one peso from Mexico any idea how much that would be worth man from a numismatic standpoint I have no idea um, the um, that you would have to get probably if it's in good condition you'd probably have to get it appraised by like a uh, HA heritage excuse me heritage auctions at H ha.com free appraisal um, and uh, you know they, they would give you an idea otherwise if you go to a coin dealer they're probably going to tell you oh it's foreign money uh, we'll give you a spot or close to spot so then they would just weigh it and give you the silver weight and and I'm pretty sure something that old if it's in decent shape is going to um, is going to be worth more than just the silver weight um, let's see Cheryl made it cool Heidi made it cool very good welcome ladies and let's see oh no 89 thought it said 69 on that nickel it was too shiny for a 69 Oop. No, that's just, I think that's just an Oreo cookie. Yep, 81p Oreo cookie. What we mean by Oreo cookies, this one's not quite as bad, but you know, you get a, co a coin that is, you know, black. This one is just black enough to really highlight everything on the coin, so that's not too bad. But uh, some you'll, you'll find that are so black you can't even see what the coin is. Um, Let's see. I don't think it's silver. It looks like copper. That's possible. Um, try and search it online first. See if you can find any reference to it. Um, PCGS uh, Coin Facts. You can also check there and see if they have it in their foreign coin registry. Um, online, online resources, I'm not sure. We've got a ton of books. Um, you know for uh, foreign coins as well as US coins and I know it would be in the foreign coin book but um, um, online I'm not sure Matthew I cannot contribute today in my new car okay yeah no problem man don't worry about it um, someone <laughs> wanted to purchase something off Amazon using my credit card that sucks man I hope you get that fixed soon um, let's see. Rogue, five dollars on PayPal. Thank you, Rogue. You have one entry for the 30th anniversary Silver Eagle 2016. Um, and bullion, uh, with the reeded edge, not the incused edge, just to make sure everybody knows what it is. <laughs> It, it is, a, yeah, my sweetie just said from the background, it is an absolutely gorgeous coin. Um, you know, it, it is brand new. It's still in the flip, you know. So it's, it's so far as we can see, it's, it's flawless. Um, that means everyone who enters today has a better chance of winning, Matthew says. That's, that's true. That's true. You, 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 you skewed the odds. Uh, in their favor JB do you guys send out all the did you guys send out all the 2017 P pennies yet um, yeah the people that the people that were entitled to uh, get the 2017 P pennies uh, from us uh, from a couple live streams ago yeah those all went out um, we did have an ice storm down here but I would think by now you I mean, they, the post office was shut down for four or five days down here, but I, yeah, uh, sweetie says she's got tracking numbers. She'll check later and get back to you. 
Um, hey, JB and everybody else from past and present metal detecting, welcome. Um, uh, Matthew Penn, I don't know about that. I've never once seen a 2017 dollar bill myself, but I'm not doubting. Okay, 2017 dollar bills are uh, have been released as of January 1st. When they hit the market, I don't know. There is a 2017 issue of the 20, uh, 20 of the 2017 issue of the of the one dollar bill and possibly the other denominations this year too, because the uh, Treasury Secretary changed. It's now Mnuchin, so there's a new signature on the lower right hand side of the the dollar bill. So they issued they went away from the 2013, they issued a 2017. So those are gonna provide some real opportunities to find great numbers and, uh, and um, you know, new errors, new, new everything. So, and somebody just said they found a great dollar but it went off my screen. Um, let's see, Adam, going through the nickels that I picked up at the casino last night. <laughs> I hope you get that. That's cool. Um, yeah, I had a Jake Matula, $20 on PayPal. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, there's uh, Alexi, Mississippi has a, or had, I don't know if they've got them back now since the hurricane. I would think they do. They have, um, we've got a couple of old nickels here I got. Let's keep going for it now. They had uh, several uh, casinos when I went through to visit some relatives and they had a lot of nickel slots and all, and all the little old ladies in town <laughs> would be playing the nickel slots. The dollar was L triple zero six four two one five star. That's, yeah. I don't know if you heard Sweetie in the background. She, she went, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. It's a star note and it's a low serial number. Yeah, that is definitely a keeper. Um, uh, let's see. I have one star note with triple zero seven eight six seven six star. <laughs> There you go. Any, anything you can get with low serial numbers, even without the star, is a keeper. But then a star note with low, low serial numbers is, you know, it's uh, a doubly good. <laughs> Let's see. I also found a 73S that might be an S over S. Very cool. Um, yeah, if you have access to uh, a microscope like the Amscope or even the Phonescope, which we have links for both over on the website, jbcoinsinc.com, uh, we moved them from down below the video. There's a link below the video to the website now, kind of cleaned it up, and the website has all the links. But this is in about the $20 range, and it'll click on your smartphone, and it does a pretty good job, uh, but, you know, our 20 20 40 80 amp scope that that thing really we really see a lot of stuff there that we were missing with the the phone scope because the phone scope has to go right over the coin it has to have an outside source of light um so it it you know sometimes you can't quite get where you're trying to go just got a 20 dollar bill triple zero four three nine two three good to fair condition wow that's a good find too um, let's see, 26 likes? How many likes? 48 likes. Wow, 48 likes at 24 minutes in. We got a shot at 100, guys. Christopher, Christopher Gann, welcome. Uh, new to the live stream, been a subscriber for a while. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for subscribing. Um, why biatch thank you for turning me on to the star thing uh it's the easiest thing to look for my kids think i'm crazy because i look at the money immediately when i get change i think just about all of us have acquired that sickness <laughs> it's 
Uh, Ernie Comstock, five bucks on PayPal. You get one entry there. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, we can't walk by a, a Coinstar or a coin counting machine without checking the out feed and the in feed to make sure. And we're always, it seems like probably 50-50. Uh, that there's usually something in there. It might only be 20 cents, but you know, one of the dimes could be silver. Sometimes they're just 20 cents, you know. Um, we've found a couple times a fistful, so you just never know. But yeah, it's part of the sickness. You you, you look at the dot, you look at your change, and that's that's where the whole check your change came from. Uh, Adam, I just found a crisp 93 one dollar bill with a serial number of B. Eight six seven seven one seven seven one zero C. That's cool. Um, ah, shoot, these are scrolling off too fast again. Um, Cheryl, I have no luck with the Coinstar machines. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, everybody's catching on to the Coinstar machines. It's getting tougher and tougher to find them. It just happens to be where we live. There's one that I don't know why. I mean, sometimes you see a see a trail of coins coming that came out of the outfeed chute all over the floor. And that's usually a hint that there's coins inside the chute. So, um, J and B, ever think of giving away an entry? Uh, you mean on like today's drawing? Because we do give giveaways all the time. We just gave away the 25,000 uh, that Cheryl won. Uh, it's basically, uh, it was basically the 1942 version, the original version of this coin. Uh, let's see, what's the star thing? Uh, the star thing is on the dollar bills or on, on any of the printed paper money, if you see a star after the serial number, that's called a star note, which means that there was an error uh, in the printing of that, coin, of that bill and they had to print um, replacements. And star bills are collectible uh, and the lower the number, the, there can be more to the value. And also what Federal Reserve printed, those particular star, star bills, uh, can also increase the number. We, if you go into our website and then search star notes, uh, we've got a couple videos on there, including the one where we found two straps of 200 sequential star note numbers, brand new, and wound up selling them for like 1200 bucks. Um, you know, we couldn't keep them for that kind of money. It was, you know, got to go. Heidi, serial number 2122323 on a $5 bill. Is it worth keeping? Uh, 2122323. Man, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Bill may know. He seems to be pretty good with these. Uh, and Jake as well, who just popped up. Jake sold a $50 bill with a serial number of 4440444 for 125 bucks on eBay. I was satisfied. Yeah, see what I mean? It's just, if you know what, if, if you know the numbers, if it's uh, a number like that where it starts and ends the same and it's the same from front to back or back to front, um, I think they call that, I, was, I can't remember if that's a, Repeater or a binary? Um, Nathaniel, it's a trinary. That's, there, there, there you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, more, more new people came in. Amy's here. Um, bunch of folks just like scrolled right off the top of my screen. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger screen for the for these live streams so that the, the, the feed, the comments you guys make uh, have more than uh, two inches to, to see. Uh, instead of starting the run over and wasting paper, they take out the bad sheets and put a star and start the run again. Uh, what about 33226669? Um, that one might be good because there are people out there that collect 666. I know they prefer that to be at the end or the beginning, but it might still be uh, in their wheelhouse. Um, Rick Eason, what's the star thing? We just got through explaining it. So you can either watch the, this video or go to our website and put in star notes uh, in the search box and it'll pull up 
several videos that, that go into great detail about it. And we're talking on and off through the stream, so it may fill in some blanks for you too. Uh, past and present metal detecting just sent you a PayPal. Thank you very much. Mary Love, my first live stream with y'all. Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, hopefully you, you like it enough to uh, subscribe uh, and to hit the like button. We have a thing we call Whack-A-Mole Mantic Coins, $5 on PayPal. Thank you, Mantic. Um, if you see somebody say Whack-A-Mole, they're basically telling you to, asking you to hit the like button because we try to get to 100 likes uh, while the live stream is live. Uh, let's see. And Amy Smith, if you had a 99 at the end, you'd be in a few extra bucks for sure. Star notes are notes that were reprinted due to an error on the original print. That is correct. Um, and for those of you that are new that just got here since the last update, we made a mistake on the title of today's event. It is a 2016 30th anniversary Silver Eagle that we are doing the drawing on today, not a 2017. So this is the 30th anniversary. It is a bullion, so it has the reeded edge, not the incused edge, but it is absolutely flawless. Um, and it is still a 30th anniversary coin. Um, I've been sick, MC Adventure, I've been sick past few days, been watching Breaking Bad, forgot about the stream, find anything yet. Yeah, we found three old, uh, three old nickels. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Don't know if we'll make these like a second prize. First prize is, uh, is the, uh, the giveaway coin, the 2016 30th anniversary um, um, bullion with the reeded edge. Um, Nathaniel, smash that like button. Yeah, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please hit it. Um, let's see, Evil Hunter JB, my screen is blurry, so I can, can't read your how to enter contest. Okay, it's basically, uh, you can enter through Super Chat or you can enter through PayPal using our email account, or e our email address on PayPal, jbcoinsinc at gmail.com, which is our email address. And then it'll give you the option to select gift or send money to friends and family. You make the, your contribution there. It shows up because my sweetie's monitoring that as well. Uh, and then for every $5, you get an extra entry. So if it's five bucks, you get one. If it's 25, you get five. And you know you can kind of do the math from there. So, um, so those go for the giveaways today or drawings today, whatever you want to call it. The 30th anniversary, 2016 Silver Eagle. And then uh, these uh, three old nickels that we found and whatever else I find, if I can get back to the nickels here. So let's see, did you be a drawing for the, yeah, commemorative draw, uh, Washington, yeah, we did the drawing on that, the video's up on the, on the website. Um, we're trying to figure out how to change the layout of the new YouTube format that's been out for about six months, because it only shows about four videos. But if you go down to the playlists, uh, they're down there. Uh, and then I think it says see more. Uh, if you go up, I think it gives you the option to hit, um, you know, all videos. And then you can see all 550 videos that are up there and not just four. Um, yeah, feel better, Gerald. Um, I have a $95 $2 bill, 02888. That's cool. Very cool. That's, that's, that's I think, a repeater because it's the same. Again, it's the same front back to front, front to back, if I saw that right. Christopher Gann, 20 bucks on Super Chat. Thank you, Christopher. You get four, uh, four chances for, for drawing, uh, yeah. You get four entries to the drawing. Getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, Gerald's here, hey JB Coins. Hey, here, hey Gerald, uh, welcome. Uh, let's see, Alan, Tiffany, people have learned me not to follow me. Have learned me not to follow me. I have the sickness. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is a sickness. Um, uh, let's see. Am, am, ambigram? Okay. 
I'm not sure what that one is. Wow, two bisons in a row to check. Paladrome, sorry, not amigram, okay. Yeah, like I say, I'm not I'm not as good with the the paper money as I should be, maybe, or could be. Um, this kind of keeps me busy. Uh, Sweetie is a little better at the paper money than I am. Um, she cer certainly has more of it um, than I have. Um, but, I mean, we've merged our collection, so basically it's, it's you know, our collection. Uh, seven pig and what? 63 likes? Yes. Cool. Uh, we got 25 minutes left, so not too far to get to 100. Might have a shot today. We've got a lot of people here. Uh, Diana, uh, welcome. Welcome, AC Coin Shop. Uh, Corey, welcome. Um, 65. Whoops. Finish going through this roll. I will check the buffaloes um, or the bisons. I mean, uh, you know, so easy to call them buffaloes because they're so, you know, they they were intended to be reminiscent of the um, original buffaloes. So just call them that out of habit. Um, I wish I could go through money that fast. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. Yeah, I've I've uh, I was doing the quarter box the other night, and it's gotten to the point to where I know the list pretty well, and um, and I know what to look for. And my sweetie walked in, and she's like, "Man, you're going through those fast." <laughs> and I didn't even realize it. Um, uh, shoot. Getting a problem with the feed here. Um, somebody apparently made a good find. Um, hi, Skippy. Got the tail end of how to enter your drawing. Welcome, hi, Skippy. Um, you can enter the drawing either through Super Chat on the YouTube, um, and they will charge 30% for whatever you contribute. Every $5 gets you an entry. You can also do what a lot of the guys have come up with, which is at the bottom of, of this sheet over here, you can go to, through PayPal and you can send it to our email address, jbcoinsinc.gmail. Uh, <laughs> yeah, jbcoinsinc at gmail.com. And then if you click gift or send money to family and friends, uh, there, are, there are no fees taken out of that, and you still get the same number of entries. For every $5, you get uh, an entry. So if it's $5, you get one. If it's 25 you get five. Um, and we are giving away, let's see, Captain in the house. Welcome, Captain. Um, and uh, I'm checking the two Bisons, and they don't have any of the errors, unfortunately. And... I've corrected a couple times. It's a, the giveaway is a 2016 30th anniversary, not a 2017. It is a bullion, so it has the reeded edge, not the incused edge, but it is also a flawless coin. We've checked it and we can't find anything on it. Uh, you should put your PayPal link in the description next week. Um, it's, it's on here, but we don't have it in um, in the um, oh, in the description of um, yeah, I'm not sure if if YouTube would would allow that. Corey just got here. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Corey. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe or consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't hit the like button yet today, please hit the like button. Captain Boswell, shout me out. How's that? Antonio Chohalanche. Did I say that right? What's up, man? Um, 
Corey, I let all commercials play through. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, cool. I did get it right. Ha! Thank you. Skippy, love your live streams. Thank you. Um, I am going to send you some foreign mo money, paper money. How can I do that? If you're sending it to us just to send it to us as a gift and you don't expect it back, that's, uh, that's cool. You can use um, our, our address that's over on the website. Um, that's over there. It's a P.O. box. Uh, and thank you. But uh, if you're sending us something to look at, we don't do that. We don't accept coins and, and look at them and grade them, you know, and because sending them back is just, you know, too risky that they get lost, then it's on us. So uh, Jesse Calzada just joined. Any idea when 2018 Penny will come out? It should be out. I haven't heard any reports that it's out, but under law, uh, do you have a Facebook page? No, we don't. Under law, the mint is minting coins before January 1st, 2018, but they cannot release them until January 1st, 2018. So last year they learned the hard way that they didn't release the 2017 Silver Eagle until October or November. They still had 2016 30th anniversaries in stock. So they pushed the 2017 Silver Eagle to the very end of the year, and then they had trouble selling them. This year they got smart. The very first coin that they released on January 4th was the 2018 Silver Eagle. The 2017 uh, paper money should also be out. Um, let's see. It's going to be one for you and one to give away on your channel. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Um, uh, oh, really? 2018 is out already? Yeah, yeah. 2018 should be out. So keep your eyes open for 2018 coinage. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing whether the 2018 penny, whether they keep the promise and don't put the P on it because it was supposed to be just for 2017, which is what made them supposedly rare. That's why we all went nuts a year ago. Um, let's see, when you sorting through pennies, what is key dates to look for? Sorry, new to this, love hunting through pennies. Uh, okay, Mary, welcome. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we have a website. Uh, it's jbcoins.com. Uh, there's a jbcoinsinc.com, excuse me. There's a link below the, uh, the videos uh, that'll take you there. And there are lists there, and there's what's called a preferred email uh, program. And you can, you can get uh, any denomination you want, uh, even some you may not have ever heard of if you're new. Uh, the proof sil silver ego is out. Okay. Uh, how much above spot did you pay for the silver? I missed where you get yours from. Um, we get most of our silver, when we buy silver eagles, we get most of these from Atmex. Uh, we just don't like taking the risk um, from some of the other companies. We try not to buy it on eBay. Well, actually, we don't buy this stuff on eBay. We buy this, you know, this kind of stuff we buy straight from Atmex because we never had a problem with it. We know they'll back it up. Um, and I don't remember what above spot we paid for that. Um, I already found three 2018 quarters. Hmm. I didn't think they released the first 2018 quarter yet. But maybe they did. I don't. Maybe in the last couple of days. I'll have to go check. Um, and uh, Heidi, need to correct you. Uh, thank you for the compliment, Mary. You can go check the list. Yeah, they're all, they are awesome. Some are still free. Okay, uh, we had to change that up. Um, so some of some of the lists are free, but the main denominations, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, uh, I think half dollar. Those are uh, five dollar contribution if you just want to buy a list, or you can subscribe. To the preferred email program for $30 a month, which we've had quite a few of you guys do, and you get preferred email answered within 24 hours. 
so you're not in the in the queue with 300 other emails waiting for me to waiting for myself or or Swedie to answer you. We will answer your email within 24 hours, um, and you get one free coin list for that 30 bucks uh, each month. So there's there's information over in that. So um, you know if you go in there and click preferred email program, you'll see you know what's in there. Um, we had 600 people a month were going in looking at the lists and weren't making any kind of contributions or anything else. So, you know, uh, and we found several that had copied the lists and put them on their own websites and were using them on their websites and some of them were actually selling them. So we figured, okay, if, you know, that's going to happen, it's, it's wrong. It's, you know, it's easier to just do it this way than to try and f go through YouTube and, and have them enforce the copyright thing. But what are you going to do? Um, 78 likes. Cool. Uh, please put that link to your email to the preferred program, Rochelle. Uh, it's, uh, it's over on uh, jbcoinsinc.com. And the whole top of the page has the different denominations listed. And then right in there it has the preferred email program right at the top. You can click on that. Um, but like I said, some of the lists are, are, you know, for the older coins and that are not, you know, they're still free. So um, I bought, bought some silver dollars from, Ve from Vegas at the pawn, pawn store that's on TV. Unfortunately, didn't look at all of them and one is majorly discolored on the back. So I think it's fake. It actually might not be fake because it's discolored. Silver does tarnish. And it also can patina or rainbow like the quarter that we showed. Um, so I wouldn't assume that it's fake. Um, you can get it tested. There's, uh, there's silver test kits available. Uh, and any coin shop near you probably would, would be able to check it for you too. Or jewelry shop might even be better. Um, let's see. 77 likes with about 10 minutes to go. We're slowing down, but we're getting close. Um, let's see. Yes, sweetie. Uh, thanks. We'll check out after stream. You're welcome, Mary. Uh, YBH says 78. Mad Wizard of Oz, how have you been, JB? We've been great, man. It's glad to see you back. We were hoping that moving this to the middle ground would, would start getting some of the folks that we haven't seen from the four o'clock crowd, uh, make it a little easier for you. So welcome back. Um, 80 on the likes today. Um, okay, we're, gonna, we're getting close to the end of, the, of our time here today. So I'm gonna recap this. We, we did a typo when we posted this. We are actually, give, the drawing giveaway is um, a 2016 30th anniversary um, bullion, but in flawless condition. It's not the silver proof 30th anniversary, but it is still a silver anniversary in flawless condition. So rather than the 2017, which I'm not aware of anything special about them, we are giving away the 2016 because it's the 30th anniversary. And even in the bullion state, in this kind of condition, it will still accumulate in value. Uh, we've got three old nickels here that aren't really anything special. Um, I don't even know if they're worth... Um... Okay, that's a good... That, that's a plan. My sweetie just said we can... Uh, we can throw a V-nickel, maybe add some silver to these, and make a second prize. We had a 1941 pre-war nickel, a 1959, and a 1953. And they're, they're not you know, bad. They're about average circulation for what you'd find in a coin box, uh, maybe a little bit better. Uh, so that's second prize, I guess. So we're going to do two drawings. First drawing will be the 2016 uh, Silver Eagle 30th anniversary, and then second prize will be the three nickels, a V nickel, and whatever else she decides to throw in there to make it a little nicer. 
So uh, last box of, box of nickels brought me three foreign and seven 2009. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, we, we, we fell into a bunch of 2000 lines, nine, the, excuse me, 2009s in one of the last of our boxes that we posted this week. If you haven't got through our videos from this week, uh, you might want to check that out because um, we did a couple of quarter boxes, for example, that are one from North Carolina, uh, another road trip. <laughs> Uh, and then we did some other stuff and we found a lot of 2009s in one of the boxes and we found basically new issue in one of the boxes uh, from, from back in the early 2000s um, and they were all BU. So um, my first quarter box netted me six 2009s and two silvers and says, very good. Well, I mean, that's just smash the like button if you haven't already. Um, Let's see, Ant, War Nickels. Yeah, I wish we found a War Nickel in there, but we didn't. Um, the 41 is not considered a War Nickel, even though that was a war year. They didn't start making the War Nickels till the next year. Excuse me, 84 uh, thumbs up at this point. Um, Bill, those bicentennial quarters were nice, JB. Yeah, they were. They were very. Uh, we were we were really surprised. They 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 were so shiny and and nicely struck. And you know, all the quarters in that box were just absolutely amazing. You know, when you find quarters that are 40, 50 years old, it looked like they just they were just issued, and are you know unmarked not just new issue, because we all know a lot of the new issue today is all marked up, bag marks on it. The, the one box was full of a lot of stuff that was was BU, AU, BU, that kind of stuff. Um, so pretty amazing. Um, let's see, which, of, let's see, rest, now to get to, uh, through the rest of the errors, which of the valuable new quarters? Uh, the new quarters for 2017, I think, if I remember right off the top of my head, I think every single issue, all five, had varieties um, and some errors. Um, the Teddy Roosevelt was 2016, I think. I can't remember. But um, Ellis Island's got them. Um, the Ozark River Walk, uh, Riverways has them. Uh, if, you, if you watch the videos, the last couple quarter videos, you'll see a ton of, uh, of, of the last three, four, five years of, uh, of, of the varieties and errors and things like that. We really have been hitting that a lot. And uh, I think we even found silver in one of the boxes. But, um, and I know we hit silver on the half dollar rolls too. So... Um, how many likes? 85. 85. 15 away from 100. Um, getting close to the drawing. Um, let's see. Matthew, I can never find good condition P quarters unless I buy AUBU at the coin shop. Find tons of Ds, though, and I've been finding quarters that I've never seen before from 2011 to date. Fort Moultrie, etc. Yeah, it's... We really were shocked by Atlanta and Asheville having a, such a higher concentration of Ds that close to us. Pretty much most of what we get new issue, all of new issue here is P. Uh, we get circulated D, um, but uh, you know we're, we're getting all of the new issues when they come out, but we're getting them from the Philadelphia Mint. And then when we tr do the road trip and we pick up a box up there, and we have, you know, a mix of D's in there. You can tell, uh, even on the table and during the wrap that we do, you can tell sometimes which ones are the D's just because they just look like mirrors shining up at you compared to the P's. Um, so it's, you know, very, very, very cool. Uh, we really enjoy those. Uh, but it just, it really does matter where you live, like we say in a couple of our videos. and. And uh, I think we have a playlist named that. Um, you know, who is down thumbing the video? Come on. Yeah, there's somebody that, 
that thumbs down every video. As we said this last week, even the Christmas ornament giveaway that was a silver round, uh, a plain Atmex silver round on the back, and, it, and they, they had uh, painted it with Santa Claus and some stuff on it. They put it in a capsule with a little clip that you could put a, a, a hook to hang it on your Christmas tree, um, you know, give it as a gift to a little kid or something like that. And, and, and that was the video, and somebody thumbs down that. So we thank them because in order to thumbs down us, they have to actually open the video, and which means they count as a view. So if they want to go to the trouble of giving us a view and giving us a thumbs down, hey, that's on them, you know? Uh, what happens at 100 likes? Anything or just a goal? It's kind of a goal. Um, the, one, the one live stream, I think it was still at 4 o'clock, we wound up with like 120 or something like that. It was some crazy number. And so from that point on, everybody just kind of was like, come on, let's get to 100, you know. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Uh, Matthew Gold, what, 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 I missed that. Um, so uh, let's see. Yep, thumbs down still counts, exactly. Uh, Matrix War, welcome. Uh, hit the like button, share the stream. Thank you very much, and make sure you subscribe too. Um, I missed the majority of today's show. What did I miss? Uh, went through uh, about a half dozen nickel rolls, found three nickels, a 41 pre-war, I think a 53 and a 59, uh, average or better condition, uh, certainly not AU, but still, you know, halfway decent nickels. We're going to throw in a V nickel with that and Sweetie says she's probably going to throw something silver in there with that. That's second prize. First prize is a 2016 Silver Eagle, 30th anniversary, uh, reeded edge, not uh, incused edge like the proof, but it is still a 30th anniversary and we've checked it and we cannot find a flaw on it. So these things do still accumulate in value uh, in this kind of condition, just like the proofs do, and sometimes more than the proofs do. Depends on how many were issued and sold. Uh, 89 likes. We got 11 to go, guys. Uh, we're, we're two minutes over the, uh, the time here, which is not unusual. Um, Silver Kid, Silver Dad, what's up, JB? Hey, how you doing, man? Welcome. Um, Diana Parker, no digging here, frozen salad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hate how YouTube crashes. Yeah, I just saw that. It, it just, my screen just reset on the laptop, which is why we learned a while back to shoot these and stream them off of our, our phone. Um, because that way we've had a couple times where the internet here has gone down completely for like most of the live stream and we were, we were able to stay live through the entire live stream, but we had to run the whole live stream off of the little screen on the back of my iPhone. Uh, but hey, it's better than getting shut down, right? Uh, second question, do you have any idea when the major third-party graders post values for the 2017 coins? I uh, believe they've got, PCGS has the theirs and NGC and uh, I've seen a lot of them. Uh, I, I know on PCGS, I've been on there a lot lately. Uh, they have them on there in the um, coin facts. And then you look up the specific coin and then it'll show grade and the population and what they sold for and at what auction and what date uh, of the auction. And so I'm pretty sure they had, they, they had quite a few of the 2017 values in there as recent as like November last time that I looked. Uh, Corey, I just dropped my $5 to you guys. Uh, and she's showing it to me now. Thanks for the secondary drawing prize of the 2017 P and the 2016 P Roosevelt. You're very welcome. Thank you for attending, participating, and helping us get to 100 likes. And Rogue is in his auction mode. 89 likes. Do I see 92, 92, 92? Uh, <laughs> you're, more, you're, you're welcome, Mize. Uh, that's what we're here for, man, is, is try and answer questions. Uh, you know, don't feed you BS. Just, you know, try and be a, 
regular regular people here um, you know not a lot of flash and sizzle not a lot of graphics uh, just a lot of facts and a lot of uh, research and and a lot of time to uh, try and create things like the lists and and the website uh, I, I can't even imagine how many hours my sweetie's got in that website because there's a lot more content besides just the lists or the links there's a lot of history over there a lot of photos over there uh, there's things that have come out of videos that are reference material type stuff that she's put on there. Uh, it's, she's just done an awesome, awesome job. Diana Parker says, PayPal sent. YBH says, you guys are great people. Thank you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see, Bill. Uh, JB, you have a great day. JB Coin, that is. Same difference. <laughs> Um, 031 Charles, getting to the party late. Hi, guys. Relic Digger also. Hello. Uh, welcome, guys. You're getting here at the tail end. Uh, we're getting ready to do the drawing for the giveaway uh, of the 2016 30th anniversary Silver Eagle. Um, it is the bullion issue, so it's got the reeded edge, not the um, encused edge, but it is still a 30th issue Silver Eagle and it is still in flawless condition. We've checked it. Uh, we bought this to, to give away. We found three early uh, uh, or old nickels, uh, a 41 pre-war nickel. Uh, I believe this is a 53, a 59 and a 53. And my sweetie's gonna throw a V nickel in with that. And she said some silver to make that interesting for second prize. So we're gonna do two drawings. Um, Let's see. Diana, $5 on PayPal. Thank you, Diana. Uh, you have one entry. Uh, 031 Charles, which denomination has offered you the highest return for time spent? You know, it changes. We've been doing this for so long. Um, I remember when we used to get tons of silver out of half dollar boxes back. Um, and the quarter, you know, a quarter to a third of the box would be bicentennials. Now you have a hard time finding the bicentennials. The silver is harder to find, uh, but it's you still find it, and you find it in nickel boxes. You find it in dime boxes, you know, um, half dollar boxes, quarter boxes. So it just depends on where you live, and 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 it depends on uh, over the time period because it's definitely there are more of us doing this. There are more websites like ours than when we started. I think when we started, there were only three or four really big ones. Um, uh, you know, Blue Ridge and, and, and uh, oh God, um, Dime Guy. Um, I remember watching Dime Guy when we first were learning how to do this. Um, and you know now there's a whole bunch of people and you know they're marketing it up and putting all kinds of graphics and you know all kinds of you know fireworks and all that stuff we're just we just stuck to the basic you know get the info out there spend the time doing research building the lists and all that kind of stuff the website rather than you know the graphics we'd like to do some of the graphics but we just don't have time you know uh, we both have full-time jobs besides doing this. We'd love to do it full-time, but this you know, ad adpocalypse and, and demonetization really kind of took that off the table. Um, let's see. Last call I'm hearing from uh, my sweetie. 92 likes. We're eight away from 100. Come on, man. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please hit the like button and get us to 100. That's our goal every week, and we are very, very close. 93. Uh, yeah, YBH is, is calling it out. Uh, 93, 94. Can anyone tell me how to date? And that went flying by. JB, are you referring for, to Dime Guy from NCLB Detectors? No, this was a guy that, that, that was coin roll hunting, and his, his, he was basically focused in on dimes, and, uh, and he was really good at it. Um, real nice guy. I haven't seen him on here on the channel for you on, on YouTube for years. Uh, 96. We're only four likes away from 100. Come on, let's get there. Um, let's see. Don't worry about it. This is an awesome channel. This is the first channel I've ever watched. Thank you. Um, 96. 
There's four disliked, so that's 100. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good um yeah i know one person gave me some crap because i keep calling this a giveaway and not a drawing uh but you know whatever um if if he's gonna give me a thumbs down and then compliment me for putting great videos up because i'm calling that that it's i mean come on grow up uh does anyone know how to date dateless buffaloes there are some tricks out there. There's some videos out there about it. Uh, it's also in some of the reference books, but you have to be really careful with it because it, you can destroy the coin very, value very easily. Um, the grading service PCGS has a restoration. So if you suspect that it's really uh, possibly a, a very rare one, you could always send it to them and you know they might be able to restore it. Kyo, come on, people, hit the like button. Uh, you don't need all the bells and whistles ambitions. Uh, or one of, somebody said, uh, let's see, ask them for out to coffee. <laughs> uh, let's see, two away. Come on. Um, she's waiting. Uh, so does that mean we need 104 because of the dislikes? No, that's the, they have their own category. So there's four of those people, and there's 100 of us. Uh, well, 99, so we need one more. Uh, it says, let's see, Adam, I need some new subscribers. Okay, G guys, go give Adam some love. Matthew, it'll destroy the value. It's 9,800. I'm hearing 100 and 101 on the screen. Uh, YBH calling out 101. We did it. Yay! I says bingo. All right, cool. Thank you, folks. That's very cool. That's the first time we've hit 100, I think, since we switched times to no no i'm saying when we switch times to noon i don't remember if we got a, a hundred on noon on four o'clock i know we did on noon we did too okay so i'm going to move this back out of the way uh congrats on the hundred lights thank you 102 were corrected yes by by yb uh awesome everybody great job yeah it was uh let's see adam it was 22nd Hmm, not sure. Uh, thumbs up. Thanks, Adam. Uh, be ambitious, not content. Fantastic. Yep, thank you. Yeah, that was who said we don't, we don't need all the graphics. So there will be two drawings, uh, as I said, the, the, the 30th anniversary and then the second place, which will sweeten these old nickels a little bit with a V-nickel and a silver. So um, let's see. So as soon as my sweetie's got all the dates, or I mean all the names, uh, we will put it down here on a table and pull the names. Yep, good luck everyone. Biatch, uh, why Biatch has a good point. Good luck everyone. Um, thank you for, uh, yeah, thank you for your time and experience. I was gonna say thank you for for your time and, and, and watching and participating and and entering the, for the drawing. Um, and, uh, oops, just bumped the camera. There we go. And as usual, I'll read down through who we have real quick and you'll have like 30 seconds to, to pop up if we missed you. We got two entries for YBH, two entries for Portrait Coins. We got one for Rogue, four for Jake. One for Ernie Comstock, one for Manthe Coins, four for Krista Mergan, one for Corey, and one for Diana Parker. Um, did we miss anybody? Um, you got the ones that were live stream as well too, right? Or Super Chat. Okay, cool. So you got a few seconds here, and then we're going to pick. Okay. Where? Oh, he just popped up. Steve, Steve Goring, I sent 10. Was that on PayPal? And did it come under your name or a different handle? Yes, PayPal. Okay, thank you. Yep. Give her the computer back and she will check that. Uh, his name. So. Okay, so 
we have more time. <laughs> uh, which means we can get more likes. No, I'm just kidding. We, we've, we've had an awesome time today. Uh, appreciate all you guys. Glad to see a lot of familiar faces and names that uh, we haven't seen since we uh, had switched from four to two or to four to noon. Uh, I think this two o'clock is going to work out much better for everybody. Uh, Diana, I have a BU Silver Eagle, but it got a few spots. Don't know, so I took it out of its packaging. It's never been touched, but I read some. Did read some spotting can happen. Yeah, they're normal. 106 likes. Very cool. Um, uh, what happened to your website? It's still there, man. Uh, JBCoins.com. J excuse me, jbcoinsinc.com. The link is below the videos uh, to the website. She does not have you, Steve. Uh, oh, we'll resend wrong email. Okay. So it's jbcoinsinc at gmail.com for that. Um, let's see, 107 likes. Very cool. Um, Coin intelligence. I have an ASE with one little mark, and that's it. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, this one we can't find anything. It looks it looks beautiful. Um, let's see. Is twenty eight dollars a good price for an eighty eight silver eagle? Jake asks. I'm pretty sure because the eighty sixes are going for pretty serious money. Um, not, I mean that's an eighty eight, not an eighty six. The eighty six was the first year. Uh, but I know the older ones, particularly the anniversary years, the 5, 10, you know, on through that. And that's why we want, wanted to do the 30, because the anniversary dates seem to be a little higher uh, accumulation of value than the middle dates. But the middle dates of the early coins like that uh, are still up, especially if they're in good condition, because there's people that are collecting the entire set uh, and they're collecting the bullion and the um, the uh, all the different variations of them, okay? The different mint marks, the different uh, finishes. Um, Atmex sells them for 23, and the older you go, the more they are, but only a few dollars a year. Yeah, they they get harder to find. So you still don't have it from Steve, um, okay? Still in the original case. Yeah, that adds to the value too. Uh, Matrix War, what's better, an American Silver Eagle or Maple Leaf 0.9999 purity? Um, in terms of the the purity or the the you know the 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 appeal, the value, they're both about the same, but in the United States, the American Silver Eagle is still outselling the Maple Leaf. Uh, but the maple leaf, I believe, is second. Um, so, um, you know, those are those are beautiful coins too, especially if you get the ones with the privy marks now um, that have the date down in the privy mark. Uh, that's cool too. Ah, somebody heard your voice, sweetie. Um, um, why does your website not list errors anymore? They do. Uh, there are certain years that are free, like they always have been, and because there were people that were going, there were 600 views a day, and there were people that were actually taking the free lists, putting them over on their websites, and posting them on their websites, and then charging for them. So what we did was we created the preferred email program. It's kind of like a poor man's version of um, Patreon, where you can either buy a list for five bucks, by denomination, and then every time we do an update, you gotta, you know, pay five bucks if you want the new one. But uh, if you if you join for the month, you get 24 hour response on any email question and up to one a day, um, and and photos. Pardon me. Yep, and you get uh, one free list with that, and you get any updates of that list that occurred during that month too. And we've already got a few folks that have signed up for the recurring monthly membership. So that's cool too. That helps, that helps us, that helps the channel. It keeps the information under our control where people aren't just, you know, 
passing it around, you know, with no effort um, and no skin in the game. So they are there. The old, some of the older coins are still free. So uh, Steve Goring, $10 from PayPal. So we got gotcha. you. Um, so now um, we've got all those names. Okay, uh, so we can scroll down real fast all the way to the bottom. Hmm? Oh, read again. Uh, YBOTCH 2, Portrait Coins 2, Rogue 1, Jake 4, Ernie 1, Mantic 1, Chris uh, Gann 4, Corey 1, Diana 1, Steve Goring 2. So that should be it. Um, let's see. Okay, so it looks like we got everybody. And so the first name we draw is going to be for the 30th anniversary Silver Eagle uh, bullion coin uh, in, from what we can tell, flawless condition. And that will go to... Rogue. <laughs> Rogue got this. Very cool. Um, so I think we got Rogue's contact info, uh, so we will send you that. The next prize will be these three nickels, a 41, a 53, and a 59 that are in pretty good shape. We'll add a V-nickel and some silver to that to kind of sweeten it up. That'll be a second prize that we will now pick a name for. Yabiach, there you go. Um, you just got through congratulating uh, Rogue, and now you won. So congratulations to both of you. Um, and uh, do we have Yabiach's mailing info? Do you know, sweetie? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. So we can get that out to you. Uh, how rare is a twenty-one piece dollar? It went off the screen. It depends on whether it's a um, a regular 21 piece dollar or whether it is the um, God draw a blank high relief sorry uh, and there also are some high reliefs that carried over into 22 if you look at our video that we did on the piece dollars it goes into what to look for on the 21 the 22 and I think they even found a few 23s but I'm not sure I, I, it starts it actually does start to run together a little bit. Um, uh, no, all the 21s are not high relief. Um, uh, they, they made them and they had problems with them and they cut them down to a medium relief. And by 22, they were a medium to low relief. And that's why the high reliefs are so valuable. So I apologize, but I have to disagree with you. Um, Let's see. All right, guys. Well, we did the drawing. We hit 100 uh, likes plus. Uh, congratulations to the winners. Uh, thanks for uh, everybody attending. And uh, hopefully you guys like this new time. And um, till next time, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And uh, JNB signing off.